our seniors set a goal this year to to play in May. You know, a little little bit of a, a slogan in the locker room type of deal. And and when you miss it for a few years, it's certainly really important to to, to make your goals a little simpler. You know, to get back into the playoffs. And so the seniors set that initiative of you know one series at a time and and work very hard to get back to to the Patriot League playoffs. And and uh, very proud of the group. They they were the guys who led us pretty much from from weekend one. They've been through the grind before, and uh, you know they certainly accomplished their first goal of the season. I think the entire league is is pitching has been outstanding, but Army in particular with uh, their top three have been, you know, I think their ERAs are all under 2.2, so we have our work cut out for us. Uh, and, and I think the two-time champions is is the most impressive thing. They've been there, they're battle-tested, and so our guys know that that's, uh, that's something that they have in their corner and they, they're going to rely on that. The plus side is we've, we've won two games up there this year. I think our guys know that they, if they play their game and they, and they execute our, our system, there's a good shot that we'll be in each game and it'll come down to execution. I think I think for our guys, uh, in their time, they didn't win the first time up to Army. So you know to go there and to split a series and to play four competitive games, uh, it was our first. I think that was when the kids really started believing that this was going to be a, a season that we could compete for a championship. And so we, we'll respect them. We know that they're still the favorites going in because they're they're the champion until somebody beats them. At the same time, our guys know that if they play again, if they play their game. There's a shot that you know that we can beat them on their field and certainly advance to the finals. Justin was hurt early in the year, and so when he was out, it, it certainly changed the dynamic of our offense. And we were very fortunate. The game he returned was uh, the opening game of the Patriot League against Army, and and he's really set the tone for us. He gets on base. He he creates some energy on the bases. His speed, stealing bases. He, he sometimes creates a run just by. You know, uh, finding his way to first and, and, and getting around the bases just just based on his savvy and his speed. Garzilla has probably been our most clutch RBI guy the whole season. He's been outstanding, uh, in particular filling in when Justin was out. But now that he's back, his role is back to just sort of moving Justin around and knocking him in. And then Joey in the three hole has been a two time All League guy for us. And quite honestly, we're excited because I think he still has he's he's just starting to swing the bat as as well as he did the last two seasons. So we're looking forward to him. Um, you know, knocking some more runs and we we'll get to the Patriot League playoffs. Our number one will be Colin Gottson. He, he's he's another one that was a little bit banged up early in the year, and and uh, we've played it slow and got him back. And I think the last three weeks he's he's been as good as anybody in the league. And the good fortune is Kevin Long and Michael Burke have also been uh, legitimate uh, rotation guys. And I think we're going to have discussion on on what order we go and how we utilize our guys just based on matchups. But we like those three guys, and even on the back end, we had a freshman throw game four. Uh, against Lafayette, Matt Kazemchek, which which could add another dynamic having a left-hander. Uh, so we haven't made our final decisions. We we do know that um, you know Gotson and Burke will be out there on 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 day one. You know that's a, that's our mindset right now. Uh, but I think we're going to try to find the best combinations to try to win two games. He was willing to move from the starting rotation this year to the back of the bullpen, and uh, it's you hate to say who's the most valuable pitcher because it, it would be difficult to argue that for us, but. It's hard to argue that he's not in that conversation with four wins and seven saves. And most importantly, he was selfless enough to say, I'll, I'll take a different role and then embraced it and, and really has been, you know, it's wonderful when you go to the end of the game and say, go out there and compete and throw strikes. We know Nick has the ability to do that and his composure has been outstanding in that role. And we feel like if we're in a late game, late, late inning, close game, we have, uh, you know, one and maybe a couple other guys we have confidence in, but certainly our closer has been battle tested and had, had an excellent season talked about that already and we'll start focusing that on, on Monday it's a relaxed intensity it's a, it's a unique term in baseball you have to be up but not too up and so uh, you know I think the environment of playing Lafayette last weekend for a playoff spot was was a playoff environment then going to Army on Monday in a another playoff environment I think our guys are, are, are used to it a little bit but I, I still think there'll be another level next weekend uh, and so we'll, we'll, we'll actually practice that a little bit and try to get them into higher pressure practice situations but until we're there they'll need to literally see a pitch or two to take a deep breath and then realize it's it's just baseball